So with season three of Konosuba finally being announced, and I mean finally, it finally got announced, and also we got a surprise with the spinoff being announced too, and then the spinoff follows a certain fan favorite character, and I wanted to talk about the spinoff, so just know there's going to be like minor, minor spoilers, it's not going to be nothing major, I'm just going to talk about briefly about what happens in the spinoff because like the, some people might not know what happened so i just wanted to go over it so of course the spinoff is going to follow a certain fan favorite character and that's magnumin and we follow her and this is a prequel so this is a prequel for anybody that's been wondering it's a prequel and this takes place before cosma and aqua like they join into like the the moral world before like cosma dies and all that so we follow her so basically we follow her in her village and we're going to see like different stuff of like her and yu yu and we're going to see like some of the different things they do and like more like the crimson magic bills that we didn't see in the movie and like meet more characters and know more of their personalities but also if you wanted to read this there is a manga there's five volumes out and also there is a light novel and then there's only three light novels so you can either go the manga route or the light novel route you'll be fine either way usually i usually go like the light novel route but the in my experience just the manga came out before so i was just like yeah i just picked up the manga and i was like yeah i don't need the light now if i got the manga so i didn't really care so i went with the manga but yeah let's talk about some of the stuff that happened so one of the major things that happens in here we get to see how, why magnuming like wants to learn explosion magic and like what pushes her to like pursue that because you know in the anime like she knows there's explosion magic and yes yeah, like very op but then she tires out so but we learn like why exactly she wants to do it what happens is she gets when she's little she gets saved by this wizard and once the wizard saves her this is funny scene where like when she's a little girl she's like oh how can i grow up to be like you and she's talking about like the girl's like rack so she's messing with her she's like how can i get a rack like you what magic do i have to use and that kind of inspires her to want to you do explosion magic one of the things that inspires her but yeah that's one of the major things we learned we also get to see her little sister and her little sister ends up being friends with a demon we also get to find out like how she gets her pet cat you know the pet cat that's in the anime we get to see that also there's like little stuff like how she struggles like with magic and stuff because like she's struggling on what she wants to do she wants to know if she wants to be an advanced like wizard or she wants to put all of her stuff in an explosion until like one key moment where like her little sister and you are all struggling so she finally puts all her like points in the explosion and that's when she becomes a crazy explosion magic person also, there is like a, a demon girl, and I just say, if you know Konosuba, when they show off demon, especially demons, if you know the suck of this, like them, they just know the demon girl they're going to show, she's going to be kind of nice, I'll just say that. There's There also is a wild scene in the manga, where like, Magami's talking to you, telling her like, she might have to sell her body, and there's some wild, I'll just say there's a very wild scene that happens for a quick second. But yeah, majority of this, there are little funny moments, but... In my opinion, it's not going to be as funny as like the regular anime because one, we're missing Cosma, Aqua, and all of them, and we don't have all of them to like add on to it. Like, yeah, Yu Yu and Magming at times can have funny moments, but it's not going to be as funny as that. But I mean, you never know. Like I said, the anime does exaggerate on stuff, so they could make it better. From from what I was reading the manga, there are times I laugh, but it wasn't as much as like Konosuba, like the regular one. But I mean, it's still a good spinoff. Also, there is a moment when we um, get to see like Cosma and Aqua for the first time, like when they first arrive in the village from like Magnumin's um, viewpoint, and she's like, "Yeah, I don't want to be by them like at all." And also, we get to learn her connection of a certain character that would be like in season two, I'm pretty sure, or yeah, season two, season three, I should say, somewhere around there in season three. And her name's like Celia, or whatever, and like she's a nun that's like part of like Aqua's like church. She's one of those, and like she's a character that'll be in season three, depending on how many like light novels they cover. We'll we'll see her, and we'll see the connection they have. But yeah, this just know this spinoff has a lot of connections for like later volumes. It shows certain characters that we see later on in the regular Konosuba light novels, but. For the most part, like I said, it's going to be a pretty interesting, like, you know, because like I said, this she is a fan favorite character and like she would, and trust me, she would do way better than like if Darkness got one because, you know, Darkness doesn't have much to her where Magnuming has like a whole village she is from and like we get to learn other stuff about them and like what she did before she got the axle and all, all that. And also we do get to learn like why people don't want her in the party because, you know, in the first like few episodes of Kona Super when Cosmo and them, they first meet her. And like they find out about like how she's not in other people's parties and all of this and how she's always trying to look for a party. We learn why because we get to see like how she goes to other parties and stuff like that. And we also get to see like how Yu Yu is always like alone and stuff like that. Yeah, we learn like some of the stuff that you might like be curious about like whenever you watch Konosuba. Like especially when it comes to those two, we learn about some of the like pre-stuff that happens. Darkness has like a, a brief appearance. She's just mentioned like briefly like early on in the manga or early on in this series in the spinoff but yeah like i said for the most part you'll get a few laughs out of here it will be a cool spinoff i am curious like how many episodes we're gonna get like i said i think we'll probably get 12 i'll say 12 to 13 episodes because like i said there's only three light novels 
five manga volumes so like it's not really that much unless they really want to like add some anime original content which they probably could if they really wanted to but but yeah it's gonna be really interesting like i said the main thing focus of here is we just get to see magnamine from like when she was a little kid and even as she's like going to school and like we learn like her and um you use rivalry because like it dates back to school because like in school magnamine was always number one yu yu was number two but then when it came to magic and doing stuff magnamine took forever to finally put all of her power into explosion magic and all that but yeah i hope this kind of helped you give you like a little brief like what it's about because like i said i don't want to go into super detail there's a lot of things i skimmed over because i don't want to like spoil it for like people that want to either read the manga right now or are waiting for whenever the anime comes out but like i said if you want to read the manga it's basically finished and you can go pick it up you can either buy it physically read it online if you want to or you can read the light novels too because the light novels might have a little bit way more a little bit more information than what the manga does because usually that's how it go but yeah, I'm so excited that Konosuba is back. Hey, it's a good time now. Like I said, I'm going to keep pushing along, chugging along, putting out the rest of the light novel videos because with Konosuba being back, I'm happy and I want to like make more content on Konosuba. So just know on the channel, if you see a lot of Konosuba stuff, just know it's because I'm excited that Konosuba is back and I'm happy about it and I want to push out more content because, I mean, it seems like people enjoy the light novel ones, so I'm going to put out more Konosuba videos. But yeah, let me know how you feel about the Magnamine spinoff. Let me know, are you excited about it? Let me know if you've read it before, either the light novels or the manga. And sorry for anybody that's going to be there that's going to say I'm saying the name wrong. Yes, it happens. I say stuff wrong. I'm sorry. But but just let me know in the comments how you feel about any of that, especially the spinoff. I am curious how people feel about that. Or if you're excited about like the anime finally getting a season three, which was like, dog, we've been needed this. But then they hit us with a spinoff too. Yes. Yeah. It's a good, if you're a Kona Super fan, it's been a basically good day and it's been phenomenal. I'm so happy, like, I'm so happy because Kona Super is arguably one of my favorite light novels. I mean, out of my favorite um, isekai anime, as you can tell, I got the poster back there and the shirt on. Like, I mess with Kona Super heavily. But yeah, if you're new, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed, like. If you didn't, you could dislike. Subscribe if you really enjoyed. And yeah, Kona Super's back and I'm so happy. Like, dog, this, my day was made because of Kona Super. Like, when this, like, event got announced... Just a little brief little thing when this event got announced i was literally trying to like, i kept waking up like in between like the night like close to like when the event was like starting because i needed i needed to hear like yo like i wanted to know like when they were going to announce it because i was like i knew they were going to announce it because i know they weren't going to like cuck us and be, like announce something stupid because most of the time when it comes to real anime they don't do stuff like that or real shows they don't like literally do stuff like that they usually hit us with like the actual good juicy information okay i'm done rambling I mean, I'm done rambling because I just want this rant. But yeah, let me know how you feel about Konosuba. Like I said, if you're a Konosuba fan, you should be happy because like we're getting basically two seasons in a way. Because like we're getting a season three plus a spinoff which like connects to this. But yeah. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye. <laughs>